Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on tree diagrams question number eight with me Mr. Barton. Keris has a Monday to Friday job and a weekend job. Working Monday to Friday and working weekends are independent, no impact on each other whatsoever. In any given week, the probability Keris works every day from Monday to Friday is 0.65. The probability that she works both days during a weekend is 0.2. Complete the tree diagram. So, does she work um, every day Monday to Friday? Well, the probability she does is 0.65. So, the probability she doesn't must be 0.35. Got to add up to 1. Um, does she work both days during a weekend? Well, the probability she is is 0 0.2. The probability she doesn't must be 0 0.8. Again, got to be complements. Uh, it's independent of each other, so it doesn't matter what happens during the week. It has no impact on the weekend, so that's got to be 0 0.2, and that's got to be 0 0.8 as well. Calculate the probability that next week, Keris sorry, will work every day from Monday to Sunday. So she's got to work Monday to Friday, and then she's going to put a few hours in and work the weekend as well. So I think it's those two branches there. Golden rule of tree diagrams, multiply going across. Now don't let your dodgy knowledge of decimals mess up your chance of getting a tree diagrams question right. We've got to do 0 0.65 times by 0 0.2. Now, I'll tell you how I do this, but as long as you can get it right, you can do whatever you like. I say 65 times 2 is 130. And then I've got 1, 2, 3 numbers in the question that are after the decimal point. So I've got to make sure I have 3 numbers in the answer that are after the decimal point. So my answer must be 0 0.130 or 0 0.13. Three. Please make sure you don't make a howler on that last little bit.